Gonna gap it, try to take away driving lanes. Cody McMahon with the first shot. It's off, she's getting the rebound and putting it back up in the hands of Taylor Fury. Immediately, Ohio State in that full court press. We'll expect to see this press all night from Ohio State after a made basket. The Iowa starting five, it's going to look a little bit different. Molly Davis in the starting lineup. McKenna Warnock was injured in the Michigan State game. She's unavailable today. They go inside to Sinano. That's the matchup that I'm looking forward to inside. Sinano going against Mikola Shakova. Ricky Harris finishing through contact. Okay, I've seen the big girls give the too small sign. Ricky Harris did that from the guard position. Okay, look, she <laughs> plays one, two, three, and four for she, Ohio State. She does it all. Cody McMahon, the one, two, short on the shot in the hands of Caitlin Clark. Lisa Bluter gathered her team up at shoot around. They sat in a circle and she said, look, we have the chance to take down the number two team on their home floor. How fun is that? Did you see how excited the team got when oh, she said yeah. they were like ready? You looked at me, you were like, I'm ready. Yeah, she said, look, we just have to go out there and be us. That's how we can get it done tonight. Molly Davis lost it. They'll swing it over to Gabby Marshall in the corner. We're going to try to go a little more physical, put some younger players in there, and guess what? It's worked for the last 19 games. Oh, I got a freshman in Cody McMahon, and then Taylor Theory, the sophomore, saw the athleticism and the advantage they had. You can count the bucket for McMahon. And as long as Ohio State is scoring, you're going to see that pressure. And having Taylor Theory at the top, and what's impressive to me? Here's Theory. The kick out to McMahon. For the deep ball bounces out and the rebound by Caitlin Clark. Clark just one shot attempt early in this game, driving and kicking. McMahon down low. She's double teamed, turns into the double team and finishes through contact.
just settle for threes. There's the first points for Caitlin Clark. Clark has established herself early in this game. Okay, I'm going to distribute, right? So now nobody's helping off, and then Clark recognizes, you didn't come get me? I'm going all the way to the rim. Yeah, against the zone, that's where you have to get the basketball, in that logo Big Ten area. And finish it! Score in transition as well as knock down those three-point shots. You know, it helps too. She's hitting shots early. Oh. That confidence soars. 100%. Kate Martin dumping it off to Good the way. freshman, Hannah Stolke. Now Stolke's able to come in now, play the middle of the zone, get some minutes to Zerano. So the minutes gonna have to distribute a little bit. And Lisa Bluter told us, you know, without McKenna on the floor, we lose that blue collar kid, that tough, toughness plays. Well, and also, Warnock could shoot the third. Yeah. So that's another perimeter score that I that I was playing without. And the shoemate feeding Rebecca. No foul call, just working her way past Hannah Stolke. Gonna see some terrific footwork from the post game of both Kill teams have it. Caitlin Clark! Oh, 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 Nothing new if you've watched her play before. I was gonna say. That's not even that deep for her. She shoots 37% from the three-point line. I'd say the three-point line, too, is a loose term. It's anywhere. Well, she's past that. 36% when she walks in the gym. Yes, from the boom. <laughs> Look how far back she was from the three-point line. So yesterday, too, was a big day for Caitlin Clark. Um, it was her birthday. You know what I loved about Shooter Room? She came over, oh gosh. She said, Look at her cake. We're birthday twins. Yeah, I need to apologize too, because look at that cake, and then what I got you. It was fantastic. It was not the same. Let me take Bob. <laughs> <laughs> but it was red velvet. That's your favorite. Yeah. Your birthday was also yesterday, it so. It was a great day. January 22nd, that should be a national holiday. <laughs> For me and Caitlin Clark, CC and company. <laughs> Clark taking her time here. She's got five points, two rebounds, and already five assists. Working to get her a shot a little bit off to the left. Ohio State can take the last shot of the quarter. I'm a little surprised that Iowa didn't take a quick shot and go two for one. Mike still milking it. Here she goes. Coming off the screen from McMahon. The Country with made threes per game into the shot clock. What does Ohio State order up? But a three from Taylor Mikesell. There'll be more of that to come. Watch Clark as soon as she gets it, heads the other direction. And when she gets low and full speed, she just blows the defense. Okay. <laughs> Kayla Clark went over to her bench, wanted the water bottle. They threw a water bottle. She went to go squirt it in her mouth. It was empty. She just looked at him. She's like, really? Guys, come on. <laughs> She's working that hard. You got to make sure you give her a water bottle that's got some water in it. Feed Sonano inside. 12 points for Monica Sonano. 